in vrije tijd. Ik moet gewoon in de kastelaar. I walk five miles a day and I had a tremendous amount of fun. Do you love that? Wow, look at it. Look at all those killers. Thanks for sure to them. Hi guys, welcome to my new video. I bought myself a new camera and it's a camera specially designed for astrophotography. It's called the ZWO ASI 1600mm Pro. It came in this uh, neat little bag from ZWO. This bag is super nice because it means that you can transport it safely and you can store the camera safely as well. Let me open it up for you. This is the camera itself. As you can see, it has a cooling element at the bottom of the uh, camera. A cooled camera is really convenient for astrophotography because when you have a cooled camera, this means that your chip will get less hot, obviously, but heat is the thing that's converted into electrons causing the dark noise. And a cooled camera basically suppresses the dark noise to the minimum. So let me show you guys what came in the box of the camera. First of all, the camera, obviously. Second of all, the camera bag. We got a USB 3 cable. We got two shorter USB 2 cables. We got a N42 to N48 adapter. We got a T2 to 1.25 inch adapter. We got three spacers. A 1.25 inch nose piece. A 1.25 inch dust cap. We got a 21 millimeter T2 extender. We got this T2 to M48 16.5 mm extender. And finally, we got a quick guide of the camera. So let's go over some of the specifications of this camera. It has a 4x3 inch chip, which means it has a diagonal of 22.2 mm. The dimensions of the chip are roughly 4600 pixels by 3500 pixels, so it's a 16 megapixel camera. The quantum efficiency peak is around 60%. The camera has a diameter of 78 millimeters. It is about 410 grams, and it has a back focus of 6.5 millimeter. And finally, the camera is able to cool between 40 and 45 degrees under the ambient temperature. I will post more detailed specifications in the description of this video. You can also visit the website of CWO to check the specifications yourself. This camera is a mono camera, which means it only captures black and white pictures. You can still capture color, but you will need filters to add onto the camera to be able to do so. A great advantage of using a mono camera is that you can use narrowband filters. Narrowband filters are specially designed to only transmit a certain area of the visible spectrum based on what you want to observe. I will go into more detail about narrowband filters later, because I don't own one yet and I want to save the topic for another video. So like I said, you need to add filters to the camera if you want to capture color. So how does this work? I will show you in a little bit because I also ordered a filter wheel and a red, green and blue and a luminance filter for this camera. So let me move this out of the way a little bit. So let's see what came with the filter wheel. First of all, the filter wheel itself, of course. A 1.25 inch nose piece. Two dust caps. An USB cable filter masks for the 31mm filters and a T2 to T2 adapter. It also came with a small screwdriver, so you can install the filters if you don't have one at home. And these are the filters. So you have to buy everything separately. CWO has a kit which includes a camera, a filter wheel and filters, which can save you some money if you are planning to buy one of these sets for yourself. Let's install the filters into my filter wheel and see how that goes. So first of all, we have to take off the screws on the back of the filter wheel to get to the inside of the filter wheel. So this is the inside of the filter wheel. As you can see, each slot is numbered. I have 1.25 inch filters, which can easily screw in. The luminous filter, the red filter, the blue filter and the green filter. I'll put my luminous filter in the first slot 
of my filter wheel. I will put the red filter in the second slot. I'll put the green filter in the third slot. And try not to touch the filters with your fingers because your fingers are pretty greasy. And these can stain the filters, which will be visible in your photos. And finally, my blue filter will be in the fourth slot. And there we have it. All filters installed. As you can see, I have one more slot right here. Uh, I am ordering a narrowband filter in the future, which will occupy the fifth slot. It will be an H-alpha filter, and then this filter wheel will be full. So I got this five position filter wheel, which came with the kit with all the stuff included. Um, it is advised to buy a bigger wheel if you plan to do more narrowband imaging. So you can have a luminous, a red, a green, and a blue filter, and you have more slots open for narrowband filters. Uh, that way because I can only add one more narrowband filter and my filter wheel is full and if you don't want to switch out the filters all the time then it's smarter to start off with a bigger filter wheel. So let me quickly close this thing and then we can see how it fits on the camera. So how does the filter wheel connect to the camera? Let me show you. So when you buy the camera it comes with this black ring. This has to be taken off and instead of the black ring you will mount the filter wheel on the thread of the camera, like this. So I've taken off the extender that was already on the filter wheel. I'm gonna replace it with the T2 to T2 ring adapter. And the black ring, the 11 millimeter extender will go on top of the T2 to T2 adapter. Like this. On top of this, you will add the 16.5 millimeter extender. And finally, you can add a focal reducer if you have one on this part and then connect it to your telescope. So this is basically the final setup of your connection for your camera to your filter wheel, which will connect to your telescope. So I've had a few weeks of clouds over here and today it has rained the whole day, but the weather forecast tells me that it could be clear tonight and I really hope that it is so I can try out my new camera and see what I can do with it. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for people who want to buy this camera or have any problems setting everything up. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time.